Previously, I had more constraints, but in the last, you know, since May, the constraints have lifted largely, and it's a very difficult thing to figure out. For one thing, I am in control of my mood 24-7, and I never thought that that wasn't true. I always thought that I was always, I was, if I had a funky day, I, you know, that was, that was what I was going to have. But in reality, if I woke up, I was in a funk, I was just off, it was like a, you know, one of those days, but I had to go to work. Oh. I can't be in a funky mood at work. I've got, I had to completely leave myself at home and go there and be the person I was supposed to be to those other people. And so I can't go in there and just, you know, and, and, and live out my, you know, my life is worthless, I'm a piece of garbage today. I can't do that. They don't want that. There's no time for depression. There's there no, no, there really isn't. Not in the kind of job I did and wanted to do. It wasn't about me. Nursing was a wonderful thing to do. Yeah. It was a wonderful, wonderful profession. And I loved it. I didn't love every minute of it, but I always loved being a nurse, yeah. you know, and there were many times that I did not want to go to work, did not want to go to work, <laughs> <laughs> but there was no time when I hated my job, yeah. you know, it was, it was fascinating, and it was, it was a great thing to do, and you get to see, you witness, you know, and it's like travel, you yeah. know, you, you, you go to travel because you want to witness, you want to see for yourself. How are people living? How do people live? What's it like? You know, outside of my little circle, my little Minnehaha Avenue, what is life like? Well, what are people like? And I saw people in various states of crisis, you know, resolving crisis, active crisis, impending crisis, and I got to see how they managed it. You know, and in some way help them manage manage it. Yeah. You know, in some little way, I got to influence. You know how people went through this, and and it was a huge privilege. Yeah. I did it for forty some forty four years. You know, I saw medicine change, and every you know certainly every forty year. Um, veteran of nursing has has seen a lot of changes, yeah. you know. But but the the age of technology, you know, kind of. First we had the age of like medications and post World War and look we're using antibiotics and now we're adding technology. And I was there when the very first IV pumps came in, and I was there when the very first when the monitors we started putting monitors on people, and and having to decide whether we're going to believe the monitor. Everything in medicine was made for adults, and children and babies didn't need it or didn't count, or we were, there was a small, small population. Everything we did had to be jerry-rigged down to the baby. Oh. Mm. And that was really fun. You're the MacGyver of medicine. That's it. <laughs> you know, and it's kind of, it was like, kind of like Apollo 13. Oh. You know, you go into the supply room and you think, what am I going to use to make this do this to this? And it's got to be sterile. <laughs> we were working on the best knowledge that we had. And so I'm glad that we know better things now, you know. But that is the same way in a lot of things in medicine. You know, and we're going to look back at this period and say, oh, those barbarians, how, do, how could they do that to people? But we're doing the best we can. My nursing job put me in contact with um, one or two families at a time, you know, and, and I could go in and make their eight hours better. And sometimes I think, you know, in my own defense, when I when I start, you know, starting to beat myself up about being self-indulgent, I think, boy, there were some really, really hard times in there when I was working really hard. Yeah. <laughs> it was, you know, um, the night shift in a PICU in New Orleans, that was hard. You know, I was terrified. I was exhausted. Um, that was really hard. And I would go home from work and... I was supposed to go to sleep because I had to go back again that night and I would just lay in bed just shaking from what I had just been through, you know, and 
I don't know. That was kind of stressful. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe I can have my breakfast on the couch.